Welcome to Karnataka Maratha channel. On this channel we discuss Maratha community's history, unity and growth. If you like our initiative please subscribe our channel and do motivate us. Shivaji Maharaj, the legendary Maratha warrior and founder of the Maratha Empire, had a significant connection with the region of Karnataka during the 17th century. His military campaigns, strategic alliances, and territorial conquests extended into parts of Karnataka, leaving a lasting impact on the region's history and culture. The relationship between Shivaji Maharaj and Karnataka is a tale of conquest, diplomacy, and cultural exchanges that continues to resonate with the people of both regions to this day. Shivaji Maharaj was born in 1630 in the Shivneri Fort, located in present-day Maharashtra, India. He hailed from the Bhonsle Maratha clan and was destined to become one of the most influential and revered figures in Indian history. Shivaji's vision was to establish a self-governing Hindu state in the Deccan region, which was then fragmented under the rule of various Islamic sultanates. The connection between Shivaji Maharaj and Karnataka can be traced back to his ambitious military campaigns and expansionist policies. One of the most notable aspects of this connection was the Maratha naval forces conquest of coastal Karnataka. Shivaji's navy captured several crucial ports in the region including Ankola, Karwar and Honnavar. These coastal territories were strategically important for trade and maritime activities and their acquisition bolstered Shivaji's maritime power. Furthermore, Shivaji Maharaj's ambitions brought him into conflict with the Adil Shahi Sultanate of Bijapur, which controlled significant parts of Karnataka. The Adil Shahi rulers were among the prominent Islamic states in the Deccan and posed a formidable challenge to Shivaji's expansion. However, his military acumen and innovative guerrilla warfare tactics enabled him to make significant inroads into the Bijapur territories in Karnataka. Forts played a crucial role in the medieval Deccan's defense and governance and Shivaji Maharaj recognized their significance. He successfully captured and controlled several forts in Karnataka, adding to his territorial influence in the region. Forts like Kittur and Mirjan were among those that came under Maratha control, further strengthening Shivaji's position in Karnataka. Shivaji Maharaj's engagement with Karnataka was not solely based on military conquests. Diplomacy played a crucial role in his approach to governance and expansion. He sought alliances with local rulers and chieftains who were dissatisfied with the prevailing Adil Shahi rule. By forming strategic partnerships with discontented nobles and leaders in Karnataka, Shivaji was able to garner support for his campaigns and strengthen his hold over the region. Despite his military campaigns, Shivaji Maharaj was not solely focused on expansion. He also promoted a spirit of inclusivity and embraced local cultures. His administration encouraged the use of regional languages like Kannada and patronized arts and literature. This approach endeared him to the people of Karnataka and contributed to the integration of his rule into the region's social fabric. The connection between Shivaji Maharaj and Karnataka was not limited to the realm of politics and military conquests. It extended to cultural and religious dimensions as well. The spread of the bhakti movement, which emphasized devotion and egalitarianism, gained momentum during Shivaji's time. This movement helped bridge the cultural divide between the Marathas and the people of Karnataka as it transcended regional and linguistic boundaries. Shivaji Maharaj's lasting impact on Karnataka is evident even in contemporary times. His bravery, leadership, and vision of a strong and independent state continue to inspire people in Karnataka and beyond. Statues, memorials, and celebrations commemorating his legacy are common throughout the region, reflecting the enduring connection between Shivaji Maharaj and Karnataka. In conclusion, the connection between Shivaji Maharaj and Karnataka is a rich tapestry of conquests, diplomacy, and cultural exchanges. His military campaigns and strategic alliances brought him into the heart of Karnataka, where he captured important territories and fortified coastal regions. The legacy of Shivaji Maharaj's rule is celebrated in Karnataka as much as it is in Maharashtra.
and his influence on the region's history and culture remains an integral part of its identity. Shivaji Maharaj's remarkable achievements continue to inspire generations.